The one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, 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 you have more success. If you have more success, and sometimes a big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Yeah. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat f because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. That you you get there's got to be those days you push through, and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline I get things done. I always tell my I always say that I'm like the most lazy disciplined person I know because I don't want to do it. Yeah, but I always do. Our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. But it's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. It really is like discomfort and uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life. They're massive, massive motivators, and they're they're amazing at at facilitating change. And yet, our instinct is to avoid those and just sit on the couch and watch some reality show about dudes who make moonshine with our jaw open. Like it's it's bizarre. A lot of artists and comics, um, I, I, I bet musicians as well, but we're writers for sure. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work. Mm -hmm. And you, you got to, and Pressfield talks about that in the most concise and beautiful way. And he labels it like an enemy, he calls it resistance. Mm -hmm. You know, and that you have to sit down, and you have to overcome resistance, and that the pro goes to work. And it doesn't matter if you're sick, doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro and you go to work. Just, it puts it in your head that this is what I do. This is what, and you have pride in that. And then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're, you're, you got, you look down the count, it says, I got a thousand words today. I put a thousand words in you. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, you're doing the work yeah. and out of that work, gems blossom, yeah. little things, but you might have a day where you just write nothing but dog so what? Show up again tomorrow. And tomorrow out of that dog, the flower will emerge. You never know. And that's the only way to develop real, like, to, to really develop your potential 100% in anything. If I look back on anything I've ever done, mistakes I've ever made, um, paths that I, you know, what, something that I put out that I didn't quite, man, maybe I just waited three months before I released that, or maybe I should have, you know, re-edited that blog post a couple more times before I put it online, or those things drive me crazy. The, the things that I've done have dri driven me crazy, but yelling at someone I didn't have to yell at them for, whatever. But the, the most important thing is always for all people to recognize that you're not who you were a year ago. You're not who you were five years ago. You're not who you were last week. You're who you are now, and this is the only shit you have control over. So you got to regulate how much you dwell on regrets of the past. You really yeah, yeah. got to be careful because it's good to have a little. Because my regrets, whether it's things of professional nature or the very few regrets friendship-wise, which is one thing that makes me very happy. Um, but you know, there's, there's, life is strange. There's a lot going on. There's, a, there's a lot of factors happening in life. But for sure, who I am now wouldn't have ever happened if I didn't fuck up. If I didn't make those mistakes, I wouldn't have understand the importance yeah. of friendship and kindness. And if I did, hadn't been cruel at some point in my life, or someone hadn't been cruel to me, I wouldn't understand the beauty of love. I, I would have to. I wouldn't understand the full range of it because I hadn't felt the sting. If nobody ever punches you in the face, you don't really appreciate safety. Because a lot of people don't even understand what safety is. You put, oh, we're safe, we're safe. But you are so not safe at any moment, you know? And when someone's punched you in the face a bunch of times, and you've been in a street fight with some guy you barely knew, you've gotten in an argument with him, there's something about regular safety that's sweeter. Yeah. It's more delicious. Yeah. It's more delicious.